you are likely very familiar with this screen. It's the default share sheet for Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets, and it appears when we tap on the share button within an application. But did you know that we could customize this bottom row so that it shows our favorite apps first before listing the rest of them? Now on this sheet, you get a couple of rows in this menu with the top row being reserved for app shortcuts. And most people will see their contacts that they share with the most here, but you could also see just app shortcuts as well. However, on the bottom row, you'll have a list of applications that you tend to share things with the most. And for the most part, this bottom row is good at displaying the apps that I want to share with. However, there are a couple of apps that I always want listed here, even if I don't share with them that frequently. And thankfully, we can do this with Samsung's One UI firmware that is used in their Galaxy smartphones and tablets. It won't matter if you have a flagship device from the company, or one of their budget offerings. So, so we can customize our share menu on Samsung Galaxy devices by first bringing up the share menu. So we have an image here, we're gonna tap on the share button, and here is our share sheet. Now it won't, it won't matter how you activate it, whether you choose to share a photo like I did, or if you share a text link, you will see the same share menu whenever you tap that share button. However, with that said, there are some applications that choose to build in their own share menu. And Google Photos is notorious for this. But there could be other apps out there that do it as well. And if you find that to be the case when you test this out, you can actually bypass that custom share menu by scrolling all the way to the right and then selecting the more option. When you actually get to the real share sheet, we're going to need to tap that more option again. So again, scroll through the bottom row until you see the more option and then tap it. You will then see a full page of apps that you can choose to share with. However, we're going to focus on this pencil icon in the top right corner. Samsung tends to use this icon when we have the ability to edit something, which is exactly what we want to do here. So let's tap on that pencil icon. And then you're going to be taken to the share menu customization page. Up at the top, you can see we will have our list of favorites. And then down here at the bottom are all of the other apps that we have installed that we can share things to. So personally, I like Quick Share to always be up there at the top. And that's why I have it pinned as a favorite. But what if you like to share things with WhatsApp? Or what if you like to share things with a file manager app? And even though you don't share with it frequently, you always want to have those options up there at the top. So we just add those to the favorites. Then we're gonna tap on done down here at the bottom. And now let's go and share that picture again. We're gonna tap on share, it brings up our default share menu where we have access to our quick share whatsapp and solid explorer exactly how we had it set up in our favorites menu now i recommend that you add applications that you tend to share things with the most that way the next time you tap the share button it will give you that favorite option right there at the top but again you can also add apps that you share things infrequently to, but that you also always want to have at the top.
and we can do that right there. You'll still have access to all of the other apps. They will either just be lower in the list or you'll have to tap the more button to access them. But I appreciate that Samsung has added this feature to their Samsung Galaxy devices. So no matter if you have the S24, the S23, the S22, or even the S21, again, you'll also find this on all of their mid-range and low-end devices as well. So you'll always have access to those apps that you want to share with.